Good evening, guys. Yeah, that's showing 40, and this is showing 46. Morning, guys. So, we're going to check the temperatures, and we're here at uh, the gardens at Becky's by the Bay. And I'm going to, I'm Becca. So, I'm going to show you, we got Texas cold front that came in last night, and uh, we're going to check the temperatures here. So, here's my heat gun. We are looking at 45 at the ground. On top of my veg bed here, we're looking at... Hey, Gala. Good morning. We're looking at 34 on top of our veg bed here. So, the outside temperature on the weather channel said it's 40 degrees out this morning at 9 a.m. This veg bed is looking at 38 degrees. We've been watering everything every day pretty good. How you doing? How'd your gardens make out? Uh... Let's see, this veg bed is 36, a little bit warmer. Um, so basically we left some things uncovered, like our, all of our brassicas, our greens, collards, kales. I uh, wasn't sure about this uh, jalapeno pepper plant, it's kind of hard to move, it's pretty heavy, so I took a lot of cuttings and uh, took them inside. Uh, looks like the spinach got hit by the cold. We got down to supposedly 31 last night, which 32 is freezing, and um, you can see that this is the Malabar spinach, and it's kind of mushy. It's thawing out a little bit, but it got it got frozen. This got frozen. It's kind of it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be firm, so it got hit. Um, these seedlings look okay of our pepper plants. And uh, I didn't cover any of this stuff. This is this was um, protected by our fence line, so we got our milkweed, some different things here. Um, our Malabar spinach um, is over here. Hey, Kimberly. So the spinach is kind of wilty, but I think it's it's not frozen, frozen, and it'll snap out of it. Um, here's our broccoli and rutabagas. They look good. These got blown around a little bit, so I kind of held up some of them. Um, and our friend Kara was asking about spacing on our broccoli plants. So these are spaced about 18 inches to 2 feet apart. Um, and you want to do that because otherwise you don't get a very big broccoli head. Um, ours are a little bit behind because they get shade, partial shade here. So, But we should get full broccoli heads by February. Um, but ours are, ours are probably 16 to 18 inches apart here. I've been watering our carrots bed every day, um, and it looks good. We didn't get like a hard freeze. I think if we had like a hard freeze, I would have put ty some type of row cover over our carrots. Um, in the past, I had them in a raised bed, and I put contractor bags down, and I think towels down with bricks on top, and they did pretty good um, during the freeze we had last year. Onions are good. They got hit a little bit, but they'll snap out of it. Um, the beets got hit a little bit. Um, but they will snap out of it, and I will... Collards. So here's what we did. I know people are asking and wondering, because we normally don't grow tomatoes here um, in the winter. It's always a gamble. Uh, there's always a chance of a freeze frost from... Halloween all the way through um, February 18th is our freeze frost date. So pretty much Halloween to Valentine's Day, we can always, always get a freeze or frost. Um, this is our hoop house. It is not a greenhouse. And it's just cattle panel with chicken wire um, trying to keep the birds out. So we call it our veg box. Um, we have this huge giant tarp that we put over it. The wind took it off yesterday morning uh, in the night, so we came out here and um, added some more. Um, these are clipped down with, um, I don't know what you call those, those little carabinas. So they clipped down at the corners, and then we added some more rope around it to tie it down. And then Waylon had just stapled an old tarp onto the front and the back. So, take you inside here. I think he's got, okay. 
this is a small space heater that we got at Sutherland's last year called Power One. Uh, he's got it on, he had it on high last night. Um, during the day yesterday, this was completely off. We only had it on during the night, the night before. Um, so during the day, while this was off, it was about 50 something degrees, 55 degrees inside this hoop house. Um, so here's the wire and it goes out to our garage. Um, so we've got our fig trees in here, tomato plants, and the tarp is thin, so they are getting some filtered light. Um, it's a real hassle to take it off and on, so if the temperatures are not too hot, we leave it on and just don't have the heater on. So it's on medium right now, and this tomato plant temperature is 55 degrees. The ground is 56 degrees. As you can see, there's like some openings at the bottom. This tarp doesn't completely cover this 16 foot hoop that we have, so some airflow does come in here. Um, over here was a real big problem for our February freeze last year. This is uh, open about a foot at the bottom, um, but we actually have a cement cinder block wall there now, so that's really helped block a lot of um, the, the cold weather that comes in on this side. Good morning, Francis. Good morning, Kimberly. So that's really helped a lot. Otherwise, um, a lot of cold air comes in from the north through here, um, and it makes it really hard to keep um, any of the vegetables and stuff like that that we had in here um, warm. So basically, last February freeze, everything that was in here, even though we covered it, died, but we didn't have um, our space heater in here. We had it in the garage um, for last February. So this is just kind of an experiment to see if we could keep these tomato plants alive um, and if you're looking at the temperature here it's right in front of the space heater at the ground is 59 our outside temperature outside this morning is 40 degrees here's 54 at this tomato plant um, 56 at that fig tree we even have figs on here that's crazy um, we're gonna go back here a little bit and uh, about 55 degrees Put my laser target on that back tomato we're at 54 degrees all the way back here with the juliet they're going to need a little bit of water today i can see that they're they're drying out a little bit because of the heat and warmth and they also got hit by the winds yesterday night when the tarp blew off so luckily our wind comes in from this side from the north side so the fig trees were actually providing a good protection inside here um, but they were still getting smacked around by the wind a little bit. So I did take cuttings, um, just in case this wasn't going to work out or if we get a hard freeze, which we still could, I did come in and take cuttings. So, um, if your tomato plants are outside and uncovered, so hard to cover a lot of tomato plants, which is why I didn't plant too many. Um, and I knew I planted too late. I planted these from seed September 1st. I should have started seeds towards the end of July, um, probably inside the house, and then planted them out in uh, the end of August, and we would have gotten tomatoes sooner. Um, so basically my goal this year was to just try to get tomato plants started, um, hope for a warm season, which it has been extraordinarily warm, and then if any kind of freeze was going to happen and we couldn't cover them, I would come in and take cuttings. So like... Here's your main stem of the tomato plant. Here's what people call the sucker. It branches off. Here's the leaf here. Um, but I think, um, so this makes the tomatoes. Here's the blooms. So a lot of people call, um, will pinch these off. Um, when you do, you get less tomatoes. Um, so we've got one right here. Here's a, here's a sucker, here's a leaf, and it'll be like this. So. Before these make a blossom and they're big enough to, uh, let's see if we have any that are big enough. Um, so before that would blossom, you would take a cutting, put it in water, and put it inside your house in a glass until it starts to make more fuzzy roots. And then you can plant it um, in the ground, in the, in the, in like in a pot, and keep it inside, maybe under grow lights or near a window, and then plant it out a little bit later. So... 
Um, we'll see how these guys do. If you have any damage, you can trim them up and see how, if they make it or not. Um, but there's always a chance of frost or freeze um, Halloween through till uh, at least February 14th. Like we got, um, we got a freeze, I think, on February 18th last year. So growing tomatoes is always a gamble. And we are gambling this year. <laughs> Um, but it's not something you would normally do. Um, we have a few friends that have, uh, a few friends that have greenhouses and they made them either out of glass or that plexiglass. And I don't know if they're heating them or not. I'm going to try and see if I can ask them and find out. Um, cause I'm kind of interested to see how their tomatoes are doing. Uh, did they heat, did they have to heat their glass house? The problem with those those is that they don't ventilate very well if you don't put in good ventilation. So um, it, it's always hot here. So we don't really need a greenhouse so much. So except for a few days. Like when we get a cold front, it comes in for like a couple of days and then it's gone. And then we might get another one again. So it's really hard to cover and uncover plants all the time. Um, so we're going to try and look at, I think if we had done this from the beginning, this was just supposed to be a seedling house. I would have made this more of a greenhouse that was a little bit more workable. Um, but we're busy all the time. So, um, we'll just see how this goes. So I thought I'd pop on here, show you guys our little experiment. Cause I know people are going to ask me how did our tomatoes make it. And, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing. And um, I probably should have brought this pot of spinach inside, but I think it'll bounce back. See, it's 42 out here, and we had about 56 in the hoop house. So here's the back side. It's all um, carabined at the corners, and I ran a string through all the grommets and closed it tight. And then underneath that, Waitlin has has another tarp that we attached to underneath. So. That's that. Kiara wants to say good morning. Hello. Hi, everybody. We're outside playing tennis balls. Right? Yeah. If anybody has any questions or comments, put them down below. Um, I could show you our fruit trees. In the front, I think everything's looking okay. Really thankful we didn't get a hard, hard freeze last night. Like, here's our seedlings, and um, I've already took cuttings of our tomato plants up here that were potted a few weeks ago. I got seedlings here. Um, here's our tomato cuttings in our cups of water. So, as they're gonna, I change out the water every other day um, until they root. And then. Oh, here's our other, here's our other plants. Got some, brought my herbs in. Like, so any succulents, I've got my Christmas cactus, um, what are the different Hoyas, lemongrass. So we brought those all inside. And I basically just put trash bags on top of all of my herbs and covered them with a fuzzy blanket. So this will need to... This one blew open. It's a little bit more cold hardy, but I'll take this off so they can breathe today. And are we getting another cold front tonight, Waylon? I might still, we're gonna check the weather. This was uncovered. These are uncovered. These are rutabagas. Um, these were put a little bit closer to the house, our aloe. And they look like they're doing pretty good. Doesn't look like they got hit too hard. They would have turned uh, really brown. Um, I did take out a bunch of babies just in case that way I could just replant them and not worry about trying to cover them because it's hard to cover these. Here is our bottle gourds. They got, um, the flowers got burned, but the rest of the plant looks alive and well. Wasn't sure if our sunflowers are going to die, but they look okay. Get a harder freeze or anything like that. Um, they didn't come in yet. 
I use bubble wrap. Bubble wrap all around the base. My lemon pomegranate, wonderful. The pomegranate can take a lot of good cold. I just put some bubble wrap um, around the base. We kind of think that's already gone or the key lime, so we're not sure. I just didn't bother wrapping it. My avocado plant tree, I uh, wrapped as well. It is very cold hardy. I believe it's cold hardy to um, 14 degrees, but it is sensitive to the cold, so I did wrap the base and put some bagged leaves. And that's it for this morning's kind of tour of what's going on here. The sun's in my face. So, um, yeah, so hopefully your plants are doing okay. Um, I know it can be a little bit exhausting moving plants in and out of your house or in and out of a garage. Or we saw some people um, closing off their um, porches. I have a really small porch here, but they I don't know if they put plastic or sheets, but they did, they did put something up for some protection and um yeah i hope you guys have a great week we're gonna see if we can get our truck fixed today and see how that goes see if the mechanics are back in if they can get the parts and all that i uh, hope you guys have a beautiful day and i hope i hope we have a nice warm rest of our winter so that we don't have to keep covering and uncovering things so thanks you guys thanks for watching and happy gardening we'll see you next time